Hi, I'm Lisa, and today on Library 360, we'll be interviewing Thad Hartman, Community Services Manager. Welcome to the program, Thad. Well, thanks for having me. Can you tell me what a Community Services Manager does? Well, our library is unique in that for a town our size, most libraries would have several branches, and we do not. Um, we just have the main library. So we're really concerned about how we serve the public outside of this building. And so that's really what my job is, is looking at how we serve people outside of this building who maybe don't live very close to the library, or they don't have transportation, or they uh, have work schedules that don't allow them to come here. So how can we help these people and get our services out to the people um, out in the county? And what's a traditional means of which we've been doing that for years? Well, one of the largest ways we reach uh, people out in the county would be with our bookmobile service. Um, we have three bookmobiles, two of which go all over the community um, to several different stops. And then we have a third, the Adventure Mobile, which goes to elementary schools during the school year. And then also during the summer um, goes to day camps and daycares and uh, uh, other uh, community centers. Right now we have a a new service that we call Library at Work. Um, we've got it going with one um, organization, that's Stormont Vale Hospital. And how it works is staff at Stormont Vale are able to request materials and select Stormont Vale as a pickup location. And then we deliver materials to Stormont Vale five days a week. And then they get their uh, reserves through their inner office mail at Stormont Vale. So, they don't have to come to the library, they can just request whatever they want and get it delivered directly to their office or wherever they work. We're also looking at uh, ways some of the new technology can help us. Uh, there's a couple of um, machines that we're looking at uh, purchasing, one of which uh, would be like a material dispenser um, that would work much like a vending machine. So someone could, uh, there would be a library vending machine and say, uh, a local grocery store that's near someone's house and they could go in and browse uh, a small selection of bestsellers and maybe DVDs, uh, scan their card, select the new John Grisham book and it dispenses that book to them uh, so they can uh, check that out and go home without coming into the library and making a special trip. Really looking at ways we can make things more convenient for people and also giving them more options. Uh, uh, having a vending machine at your grocery store certainly wouldn't replace the library, um, but uh, maybe hold you over until you can make that big trip to the library. Yeah, people are going to see the library in more places around the community in the coming years. Exactly. Sounds exactly. like you have a huge undertaking. How many staff does it take to deploy the library to the county? Well, we have um, 21 staff who are dedicated to Bookmobile. There's also 10 staff members uh, in red carpet. Um, but really, serving the community outside of the building is going to be something that is done by all staff in the library. And what do you think this increased visibility, what message do you think it will send our community? Well, I think the thing we want to say is that we want uh, service equity. We want, no matter where you live, no matter who you are, you can um, take part in what the library has to offer. We will get our services out to you so that you can utilize the library uh, just like anyone else. Um, also, we hope that people who uh, maybe don't think about the library will, will see everything that we have to offer, um, whether it's out in the community or maybe coming here to the main building. Um, but we, we just want, uh, we want everybody in the community to use the library and, and see what we've got to offer. And so we're just trying to get everybody to be a library, a library card holder. And a supplement to that is the Digital Branch, where you can find this video. And I hope you've enjoyed 360.